Broken and Free Spirit and welcome to this video where I'm going to show the best and easiest tarot decks to use to get started. So it came up in the comments and I don't know if I, I know I've shown these decks before on the channel but I wanted to put it all in one video to show what do I recommend when people do not know a thing or are looking for the easiest tarot decks to just pick up and start using right away. And the best and easiest tarot decks, when you do not know a thing, I would always recommend these decks right here. Angel Tarot, Archangel Power Tarot, and Fairy Tarot. There's going to be a fourth tarot deck also about to be released um, next month called Angel Wisdom, which I have on pre-order, which I'll definitely add to this list and I'll show on the channel as soon as I get it. But I always recommend these three decks. And why? I'll tell you right away. You don't have to know a thing. You can use these decks and it's transferable to any other tarot deck. They're beautiful light images, so it's not the Rider weight. It's all of angels, archangels, or fairies. Um, they're beautiful. They're also color-coded, which makes it so much easier to know what suit it is and you get a real feel and knowledge of the suit. And it's a great way to learn. And third, most importantly, all the messages are right on the cards. You do not need to know a thing. They all come with a guidebook that you can dive in for deeper meanings, but the card themselves all have the meanings. So once you get these down, you can transfer that to any tarot deck. But I have to tell you, I mean, I know tarot really well, and I still use these cards all the time. Just because they're really beautiful, and you're also tapping into angels or archangels or fairies and they're beautiful beautiful decks so it's not like oh learn on this and then you want to go on to other tarot decks which you may I mean I definitely have tons of tarot decks but these decks are the best they're the easiest you can pick it up and and do a tarot reading right away practice makes perfect and if you have a love and joy of using tarot it immediately spurs you on to use it more and it's only by using tarot more that you get better and better, right? So I always recommend these are the best and the easiest. If you want to pick up a deck, you know nothing. The messages are right on the cards. It's all color coded and it's all of angels, archangels, fairies. So they're beautiful. So I know I've shown these decks before on my channel, but I don't know if ever uh, in one video and literally saying these are the best and the easiest. Um, these decks, some of them are older because I bought them a long time ago, so you still have Doreen Virtue's name on them. Know that she doesn't do tarot oracle decks anymore of these, but they're being re-released with just Radley Valentine's name on them. They're still the same deck. They're still the same cards, and thank God we didn't lose those decks because they could be re-released under Radley Valentine's name. So let me go through them. I mean, because each one is beautiful in its own right. The Angel Tarot was the most known because it was like the first one to come out with just angels and softer um, images. And it was really geared to people who are sensitive to the regular Rider Waite images. It's all angels and it's beautiful. And I know there were even courses that were available to be a quote unquote angel reader. I mean, it was a big thing when this came out many years ago. But the cards themselves, every deck um, does come with a guidebook to go into expansive meanings where it will go elaborate have a black and white picture of the card and give a full explanation and everything else but the cards themselves are beautiful they're silver gilding first of all they're just exquisite they felt like jewelry when I first got them I remember what it felt like when I got them um, really beautiful and on the front save for the major arcana it will immediately be a deep purple so you'll immediately know this is the star. The, all the majors are associated with an archangel. It's numbered. You can go in the guidebook for the expansive meaning. Meaning, You'll have a beautiful picture that's angelic, right? So in the Rider weight, it would just be a normal person with the same almost image, but here it's all depicted in angels. That's the difference. And it's a much, it's a real beautiful picture. And then the message is right on the card. Happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. So you would do a spread, and if that came out, you would know immediately what that means. Here's another major arcana of the lovers, and it's Archangel here. And it's a beautiful, beautiful picture. Again, very reminiscent of, um, say, the regular right away, but it's all angelic. And it will say right here, intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions, good health. So it tells you the green page of earth. Now the earth and green is all pentacles. This is you'll know this um, from the guidebook but green it's like the earth you'll immediately feel it it's a great way to learn page of earth and it will tell you the qualities up here and it's a beautiful image angelic image 
And then we'll go down here. Good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So it's, oh, I'm glad that we're getting a sample of each one. For fire, that's wands, and you'll learn that, you'll feel that. Um, and you see like wands in here, but it will say contentment, peace, abundance, a happy home life, right? So it's beautiful, beautiful images and it's color coded. Queen of fire, you're going to get fire as wands, it's passion um, and all of that. And it, it, they'll give you the qualities when it's a court card and then they'll give into a description. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So it's like that. The chariot, again, deep purple. So that would be a major arcana. Let me flip around. We have nine of air. That's going to be um, the swords, right? So it's going to be blue. And you'll learn this. Um, you have the correlations. Or if not, they're just good as is. Nine of air, expecting the worst. Self-fulfilling prophecies. Sleepless nights. This is usually what the swords are going into the woman in the bed. She looks like she's having nightmares, but it's a much better angelic lighter card with the unicorns. Six of water is emotions, right? This is cups. And you will see here memories from your history or childhood. It's just very lovely pictures. The sun, look, it's all angels. They will say happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. So all the images, I just want to flip around, they're color-coded that you can see with beautiful images, light images, angelic images, Ace of Birth would be the Ace of Pentacles. Um, it all correlates directly to the Rider weight. It correlates to any other tarot deck you may use. But this is such a way that you can just pick up the deck and immediately use and get the messages on the card. You know the suit, they're color-coded, and it's just really, really, really beautiful deck. So this was the Angel Tarot, which is was like the first deck to come out from during Virtue and Radley Valentine that had angelic images, the messages right on the cards, color-coded, and it was really wonderful deck, and I still use it to this day. Um, so that is a fabulous deck that you can use right away. The Archangel Power Tarot. So this is all Archangels completely, and I use this right now all the time for my overall weekly spirit readings that I do on the channel. When I use the tarot deck, I want to tap in higher. I'm doing readings for like the collective. I want a higher level um, message from the archangels. That's my intention. I love working with archangels. Um, so to this day, I use the archangel power tarot cards. Um, I love the backs of the cards. This is what drew me in from the beginning. I felt the light. I felt, I, I mean, I love it. Again, it will have a guidebook, very good, that you can have a black and white picture, and it will give a description, but you're not even gonna need it. You can pick it up right away. This had gold gilding, which you could see is slightly coming off from my use, but it does have gold gilding. The back to the cards, I just fell in love with. It's like my soul on the back of a card. Okay, so then you come here. It's gonna be similar to the Angel Tarot. The, some of the suit co code color coding is slightly different, but the major, icon, um, major iconas are a deep purple still, numbered, and we'll say Archangel Gabriel. So we have the Empress, and look, it's always an angelic, uh, light, beautiful image, and we'll say right here, time to act upon your plans, creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. You don't need to know a thing. We have the wheel. Oh, we love the wheel. The major arcana again, deep purple, new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction. So you could do a spread right away. This would be five of Michael is air, so you know that's swords. You'll learn as you go, but from the image and also here, the situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. So let me skip around. Nine of Michael, that's usually the nightmare card, but they're, they're nicer king of ariel so this is pentacles this threw me at first because pink i usually associate with cups but in this deck the pink is pentacles so king of ariel this is will give the qualities up here for the court cards and it will give you a direct message your plans are working out very well professional financial success using your resources wisely there's always an angel in the picture i feel like the angel has your back you have backing when you're the king of pentacles with what you're doing in the physical queen of michael again is air the swords queen of michael it will give you the the qualities right brilliant self-reliant insightful and here you know exactly what to do um and they're all beautiful beautiful images ace of raphael look ace of cups right 
green, this is going to be for the heart, which you could equate with healing, Raphael, and the heart. So it's slightly different color coding on here. Positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationship, um, but all angelic, and they're all beautiful, beautiful pictures here. Oopsie. Here we have the wands. Ten of wands is ten of Gabriel. And everything is angelic, you know? Here, the moon. Really, really exquisite. This was major arcana purple. So you'll get the idea, Ten of Michael. You could pick through which images you like better across the decks or which color coding works better for you. Um, I tend to use, I was using the angel deck a lot. And then when I got the archangel power, it feels like I'm using this more. It depends on what you really gravitate image wise, but the color coding, what makes sense to you color coding wise. And look at the high priestess. And the messages are right here. So powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. But everything is so beautiful and angelic. You can't go wrong, divine guidance. And here, this is Archangel. I'm ignoring the phone, just ignore the phone. And Ace of Gabriel, look at that. That's Ace of Wands. And look at how beautiful, these images are just gorgeous. So this is Archangel Power Tarot. And this is with the gold gilding. So Angel Tara has silver gilding. This has gold gilding. And this is beautiful as well. So now let's go into the last one. And you might say if I had Angel Tarot and Archangel Power Tarot, why would I need Fairy Tarot? But wait till you see the Fairy Tarot. It is so beautiful, the Fairy Tarot. Um, so this is all with fairies. So this is angels, archangels. Now you have fairies. <laughs> and the fourth one coming out in about a month is Angel Wisdom, which you know I'm going to get to. So, of course, this comes with a guidebook that you go in, and it will have a black and white picture and go in detail. But you won't need that either because this one, this has silver gilding as well. And wait till you see the front of the cards are just so beautiful. It's the colors. The colors had me at the colors. I don't know. I really love the colors. Um, it's all the blues and the purples. It felt like jewelry. These decks feel like jewelry. So I would always, that's what I always describe them. So they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They feel like jewelry. Even years later when I do know tarot very well, I still love to use these decks because they, they, they are just so light, filled with angels, archangels, beautiful images. Um, here at Zero the Dreamer. I think this might be in order because I did a close-up review recently. Um, so it's all fairies. The dreamer is the fool, major arcana. So all across the board, the deep purple is the major arcana, okay? And so let's go through the high priestess. So these were, let's get to justice. Let me flip around. So say you have, yeah, look, three of spring. So this is the wands. And this is, it will say, Plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. Some of the color coding is a little different. Everything is going to be angelic see, and fairy-like. I mean, it's more fairies. And it's more in spring. It's more in the season. Summer, winter, autumn for the suit. So that's what I mean by you could pick by which images you like to work with, whether it's angels, archangels, or fairies, and then also pay mind to how it's color-coded, what would naturally work for you. But they all have the messages right on the cards. I mean, look at how stunning this is, Eight of Spring. Um, and here it says steps that come from having many things happening at once, successful, manifestate, multitasking, sudden events or changes. It's like explosion of action here. Let's flip around. So here we have Five of Summer. See, it's very, I liked it because it almost looked like butterflies rather than fairies to me. Um, trust that there is a reason for everything. Yeah, okay, look at how beautiful. Seven of Summer, no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. This is Cups. Um, so you have to see, so the Cups is equated with Summer and it's light blue. So you have to see what you, what you gravitate to. Um, Prince of Summer. Instead of Page, it will be Prince. It will give the qualities just like on every other court card on across the decks. And I love how she's like riding the flower. Falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. It's just really beautiful. So let's skip around. Oh, what's this one? Ace of Winter is Ace of Swords. 
don't be deterred. What is this? Ace of Winter. Four of Winter. Let's carry on here. Eight of Winter. You have what it takes if you believe in yourself. These are the swords where Princess of, of Winter, inquisitive, truthful, realistic, and here it will go information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> look how cute. So it depends on which images really gravitate to you. If you like working with fairies, angels, or archangels. Um, autumn, this is going to be pentacles, a wonderful a windfall of money, advice, assistance from others. Very successful project, Ace of Autumn. Let's skip around a little bit. Four of Autumn. See the color codings switch, and this is the seasons. So it depends on what you like to work with. Ten of Autumn. Look at the colors in here, though. And also very angelic and pretty. Queen of Autumn, and it gives the qualities generous, stylish, gracious, practical. And look at her. It's really beautiful. Be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. But so whatever deck you use, you don't have to know tarot at all. Um, so this was the fairy tarot and this was the backs of the cards, which has this beautiful fairy. I love the blues and um, the purples and it's gilding. They all feel like jewelry. Um, so when I, when people ask, you know, what is the best, easiest tarot deck? I mean, these are beautiful. Even if you know tarot well, I use these decks all the time and uh, if you're just starting out, you don't have to know a thing. You do not need to know a thing. And then, mind you, a lot of people, you know, people rave about Rider Waite, but Rider Waite is not the only way you can do tarot. And some people like gentler, more beautiful images. And then you can certainly get these decks too. But if you're a beginner and do not know a thing, they're easy color coding, they're beautiful cards, the messages are right on the cards. You do not need to know a thing and you can start. And I always think it's the best thing to just start because the love that you have when doing it spurs you on to do it more and then you're off and running, right? And then anything you learn using these decks are transferable to any other tarot deck. It's almost like a quick leap into knowing tarot, absolutely. And um, yeah, so I wholeheartedly uh, recommend these decks. Mind you, um, if you order the Angel deck, Doreen's name will not be on it. Everything's been re-released with Radley Valentine's name on it only, so you're going to see that slight difference. A fourth deck is coming out I, that I would add to this list, which is the Angel Wisdom. Without even owning it yet, I have it on pre-order, but it's going to be the same, but it's similar and um, with different images. The minute I get it, I will definitely give a review. I think it comes out next month and I'm really looking forward to it. I think in October, the beginning of October. Um, so I'll definitely show that when I get it. But these three are already out there. I definitely, they are the best, they're the easiest. And quite frankly, even after you learn from these, you're still gonna wanna go back to them because they're just beautiful. I use them all the time. I use this one for all those overall weekly spirit readings, the, that I do because I love tapping into the archangels. I love tapping into the angels. I like coming from that stance anyway. So I, I really do. And then they're beautiful cards. They're just beautiful cards. So this has been my what's the best, easiest tarot decks that you can get without knowing a thing and learn tarot very easily and do readings right away. Excuse the noise in the back. But um, yeah, I mean, just like the biker in the background, you're off and running with these decks right away. It's almost like grab a deck, do a reading, and and just go, 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 go. And um, they're very on target. They're very, they're just as on target as any other tarot deck. Anything you learn using these decks are transferable to any other tarot deck. And uh, believe me, I guarantee once you learn from here or you get this deck, you're still gonna go back to it even when you are very comfortable with tarot because they're just so beautiful. Um, they're just really beautiful uh, cards to use. So this has been one of the best and easiest tarot decks to use, especially if you're a beginner and you can start and learn tarot right away. Take care and have fun with your tarot cards. Bye-bye.